So in this video, we are going to discuss the question which appeared in IIT Jam 2009 from Thermal Physics. Okay. The first question is the isothermal compressibility kappa T of a substance is defined as kappa T that is equal to 1 by V dV by dP. Actually, there should be a negative sign. So somehow it, it's missing here in the statement, but it's uh, there should be a negative sign here. Okay. Uh, its value for n mole of an idle gas will be okay. So Let's try to understand this question. So, uh, the definition of a kappa T that is given to us, it is minus 1 by B dV by dP at constant temperature. Okay. So, now for the, for an ideal gas as it is given, so it should satisfy the equation PV that is equal to nRT or P that is equal to nRT upon B. Okay. So, from here, we, one can easily calculate what is dP by dV, dP by dV at constant temperature. Okay. So, dP by dV at constant temperature that is minus nRT into 1 by V square. Okay. So, uh, kappa T, kappa T will be minus 1 by V and then dV by dP at constant temperature. So, that means with minus b square upon nrt okay so minus minus will become plus so this is basically multiplication so this is equal to v upon nrt so what is b upon nrt v upon nrt is equal to 1 by p so there kappa t that is equal to 1 by p so therefore is the correct option here let's continue with the next question so, we are given a situation where a box containing 2 moles of a diatomic idle gas at temperature T naught. Okay. So, we are having a box. Okay. Which contains N1 that is equal to 2 moles of a diatomic idle gas. Okay. So, it is a diatomic gas. Di atomic idle gas and at what temperature the temperature is T naught okay is connected to another identical box containing two moles okay so we are having another box identical box which contains again let's say N2 that is equal to two moles of a monatomic now it's not diatomic but it is mono atomic yes and this is at temperature 5 T naught okay and now when these two boxes they are connected with each other okay so that we are having a one big box which contain n1 plus n2 moles of a gas okay a mixture of monatomic and diatomic mono plus diatomic gas okay atomic gas and we have to find the figure out what is the final temperature in terms of T naught, okay. Th that's our objective, okay. Now it's given that there are no thermal losses, okay. That's important. It's important to uh, I mean understand this point. So when these two boxes they are joined together, so that means the total internal energy of this system it's going to be a constant quantity, okay. Before mixing and after mixing, the total energy will not change, okay. So find the temperature of the mixture of the gases. Okay, ignore the vibration degrees of freedom. So that means we need not to consider the vibration degrees of freedom. So only translation and rotation degrees of freedom need to be considered. Okay, so here uh, we assume that we make an assumption that let Tf be the final temperature. Okay. Now for diatomic, uh, for diatomic, for diatomic gas, the total degrees of freedom are, the degrees of freedom, they are, uh, we will have 3 translational plus 2 rotational, okay, that is equal to 5. These are the translational and these are the rotational degrees of freedom, okay, so total 5, okay. Now similarly for monatomic, for monoatomic gas, the degrees of freedom are how much? 3. Only translation degrees of freedom. Okay. So, only 3. Okay. So, 
let's uh, first figure out the total internal energy of the uh, diatomic gas okay so if we call that as u1 for this case let's let's say u1 be the total internal energy and u2 be the total internal energy such that u total that is equal to u1 plus u2 okay now let's try to figure out what is u1 initial okay so u1 initial will be its number of moles multiplied by the heat capacity cb1 and then multiply by the temperature at which this gas exists okay so t1 is basically t naught here okay so if we call this as t naught that is equal to t1 and here 5 t naught that is equal to t2 okay so this is equal to n1 that is the number of mole it's 2 what is cv that that is equal to 5 i 2 so 5 degrees of freedom so here for this case the energy will be 5 i 2 rt okay per mole okay so therefore the cb will be de by dt that will give you 5 by 2 r so that's why i'm writing here 5 by 2 r and then multiply by the temperature t1 which is nothing but t naught and this is equal to 5 r t naught okay now similarly we can calculate the initial energy of the uh, gas molecule in box 2 we call this as u2 initial and that is equal to number of uh, moles of uh, monatomic gas multiply by cv2 heat capacity multiply by temperature okay so n2 is how much it's again 2 multiply by cv2 that is uh, 3 by 2 r okay because here the total degrees of freedom they are 3, uh, three. so per mole we will have 3 by 2 r uh, contribution uh, for the heat capacity so multiply by 3 by 2 r multiply by t2 what is t2 t2 is 5 t naught so multiply by 5 t naught and that is nothing but this will give you 15 r t naught okay now similarly as we have assumed that tf is the final temperature so for the gas molecule which was initially in box 1 uh, their uh, total energy after mixing u1 final will be how much number of moles multiply by the uh, the heat capacity that is 5 by 2 r as we did here is the first case 5 by 2 r multiply by the final temperature which is tf here similarly u2 final will be number of mole multiply by the heat capacity 3 by 2 r multiply by the final temperature now here we will make use of the uh, mean the point of the that the total internal energy of the system it, it doesn't change so that means u1 initial plus u2 initial that is equal to u1 final plus u2 final okay so if you do that so that means we, we have to add these terms uh, so 5 u1 initial is how much 5 r t naught plus 15 r t naught and that is equal to 5R TF plus 3R TF. Okay. So once you solve it, uh, this this becomes 20. R R will cancel on both sides. 20 T naught that is equal to 8 TF. This implies TF is equal to 20 by 8 t naught that is equal to 2.5 times t naught so that's our answer so the final temperature is 2.5 t naught okay so let's see this is a 2.5 t naught this is c so therefore option c is correct here so let's continue with the next question the statement is the equation of state of one mole of wonder wall gas and its internal energy u t v is given by this expression where u naught and c v can be taken as constant okay now uh, prove that in a reversible adiabatic process so that means in a process where dq is equal to zero the temperature and volume satisfy the equation so okay so for, uh, for this particular situation we have to prove this relationship in the second case calculate the change in entropy of the gas when it undergoes reversible isothermal expansion from volume v naught to 
to be nod okay so let's uh, try to uh, understand this problem so we are given the equation of state the equation of state is p this can be rewritten as the given equation can be rewritten as p that is equal to rt upon b minus b minus a upon b square okay let's call this as equation 1 okay and also the internal energy is given by the internal energy energy u which is a function of t and v this is equal to u0 it's given plus cv t minus a by b let's call this as equation 2 now so let's continue with part a first okay so in part a we are asked in a reversible adiabatic process reversible and adiabatic process so in this case dq that is equal to 0 okay so from the first law we can write dq that is equal to du plus p db okay so because dq is equal to 0 dq that is equal to 0 so that means what i can do is i can write dq that is equal to 0 and that is equal to du so we will calculate du from equation 2 okay so from equation 2 we will calculate du and then uh, in, uh, in case of p we will substitute the value of p from equation 1 and then uh, let's see what we are obtaining so as given in the statement u naught and cv they, they can be treated as constant so while evaluating du so du will be basically cv dt minus a by b uh, minus a and then differential of 1 by v so that will be uh, minus 1 by b square dv okay so minus minus will be become plus so i am writing it together plus a upon v square dv okay and then uh, the next term plus p multiply by dv okay so plus p multiply by dv so that means this expression multiply by dv so plus rt upon b minus b multiply by dv okay minus a by v square dv okay so this term will cancel with this term so ultimately we are left with here because this is equal this is equal to zero okay and then uh, after rearranging the terms we will obtain cv dt plus rt upon v minus v so in principle we can call this as equation let's call this as equation 3 and this as equation 4 okay so equation 4 can be rewritten as after equating uh, to be equal to 0 the cv dt plus rt upon v minus v dv and that is equal to 0 after rearranging the terms we will separate the variables dt by t plus r upon cb db upon b minus b and that is equal to 0 ok now after the integration what what we will obtain is ln t ln t plus r upon cb ln v up minus v and that is equal to constant the constant of integration it's merged here okay or ln t plus ln v minus b power r upon cv that is equal to constant okay or this can be further rewritten as ln t multiply by v minus b power r by cv that is equal to constant okay or uh, after taking exponential on both sides so this becomes t into v minus v power r upon 
cv and that is equal to another constant okay so therefore we have uh, proved the first part okay so now in order to continue with the second part what is that it is so let's take a look at the statement calculate the change in entropy of the gas when it undergoes a reversible isothermal expansion from volume v0 to uh, to v0 okay so for this case we will again take a help of uh, equation 4 here because but now it's not adiabatic it's a reversible isothermal expansion okay so let's uh, rewrite the uh, the same equation again so the equ uh, th that equation dq that is equal to cv dt plus rt upon b minus v db okay so now ds will be so now, now this uh, now we are going to evaluate the entropy change for reversible isothermal expansion when volume is changing from v0 to v0 to it's given v0 to to v0 okay so v0 to to v0 okay so ds that is equal to dq by t okay that is equal to 1 by t and what is dq that is cv dt cv dt plus rt upon v minus v db so because it's an isothermal process so this is equal to zero so simply we are left with the uh, the first the second term sorry r upon b minus v r upon b minus v db okay so therefore the entropy chain delta s that is equal to dq by t and that is equal to r when volume change from v0 to to v0 1 upon b minus v dv and that is equal to r ln to v0 minus b upon v0 minus v that's the entropy change okay so this is our final answer